Hello there, friends. Welcome back to day 12. <laughs> it's hard to believe we're on day 12 of our Advent devotion series. It means we're at the 12th of December, and I hope that you are um, getting your shopping done and that your house is decorated and that you're making Christmas cookies and doing all the fun things that come along with this season. I'm so thankful that you are here again with me today to share um, in this beautiful moment that we are taking every day to reflect on the lectionary text. Today, um, again, I encourage you to read all of the scriptures um, that are either on your screen or in the show notes. Um, I will be reading part of the Luke passage and part of the Thessalonians passage today, but I encourage you to go back and read all of those scriptures. So let's get started. Hear now the words of Luke, uh, chapter 21, verses 34 through 36. Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life and that day does not catch you unexpectedly like a trap for it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth be alert at all times praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the son of man now to First Thessalonians, we are in the fifth chapter of that letter. Today we will be looking at verses 12 through 22. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labor among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves, and we urge you, brothers and sisters, to admonish the idlers, encourage the fair-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of, your per of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, Give thanks in all circumstance, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of the core memories of my childhood was praying with my great-grandmother, Lucy. She was keeping us one night while my parents were out, and she was putting me to bed. I was very little. She knelt down beside my bed and folded her hands and prayed with me before I went to sleep. It was the night she taught me the same prayer most children are taught to pray, or at least the first time I remember hearing it. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. God bless. And then there would be a laundry list of people and things that needed blessing. It could be animals, people, toys. You never know what a child will say. As I grew older and we could gather and we would gather as a family before a meal and hold hands in a circle, my grandfather would look at me and say, Katie is going to say the blessing today. <laughs> sometimes I would get a secret heads up from him and sometimes it was without warning, but it always kept me on my toes and taught me how to pray aloud and open my heart to the words God was giving me to pray. Looking back now, I see that those moments were part of a larger plan that God had for my life. In the passage of Luke, we are called not to just be alert, but to constantly be in prayer for the coming of the Lord. And then in our letter to the, 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 to the people of Thessalonica, 
we see them being called by the authors to pray without ceasing. Like the refrain of our hymn, we are called to fall at the feet of Jesus and pray constantly. That seems a little unrealistic in this busy time. But prayer does not have to be kneeling beside the bed or holding hands in a circle. Prayer can be a whisper. Prayer can be a remembrance. Prayer can be laughter. We can glorify God and praise his name in all kinds of ways. Prayer without ceasing does not only mean the prayers of asking. It means prayers of love and praise and thanksgiving. So I echo Paul today. Pray without ceasing at the feet of Jesus. Our hymn today is out of the United Methodist Hymnal, Hymn 190. Who is he in yonder stall? Who is he in yonder stall at whose feet the shepherds fall? Lo, at midnight, who is he prays in dark Gethsemane? Who is he in Calvary's throes asks for blessing on his foes? Who is he from the grave? comes to heal and help and save. Who is he from yon throne rules the world of light alone? Tis the Lord, O oh, wondrous story, tis the Lord, the King of glory. As we at his feet we humbly fall, crown him, crown him, Lord of all. Our centering moment today is this. How can you pray without ceasing today? What new and different ways can you be in constant prayer and thanksgiving? Amen.